Tom Gregory here for OVGuy.com. Today I'm here in Beverly Hills to visit the former home of the designer Tony Duquette. Tony Duquette died about nine years ago, but this is the house where he lived, and it's run by the patriarch of his estate, Hutton Wilkins. Hey, how hey, are you hey, doing? Hutton, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, well, this is Glad it. This is here. Tony Duquette's former home. This huh? is it, your Don Ridge. Now tell me, who, who was Tony Duquette? He's considered by museums to be an American design icon. He was the first American to have a one man show at the Louvre in 1951. He's a young man who was making costumes and sets for Fred Astaire musicals with Vincent Minnelli at MGM and in the, in, the, uh, in the 30s. And then at the end of his life, he died in 1999. Uh, he, with, my, with me, we were doing jewelry for Tom Ford at Gucci. We would know a lot of his work primarily from the early films. Right, and he was used like a special effects. It, it, instead of blowing up cars and things, he would be asked to do a dream sequence. So he only did one film from beginning to end, and that was Kismet. So this is it. This is the house of Tony Duquette. Exactly. Brando lived here, and then Glynis Johns, uh, Zsa Gabor, people like that. He was discovered practically on the same night or the same week by Billy Haynes, James Pendleton, and uh, LCD Wolf and Adrian, the dress designer. In those days, the movie stars wanted to be stars and they wanted to be ladies and gentlemen. They lived in beautiful houses and they had help and they wanted to ape the English aristocracy. And so they had decorators like Billy Haynes and Jimmy Pendleton and Tony Duquette. This is amazing, it's gold. Can I touch it? Yeah, go ahead, touch. Uh, you know, all the glitters it's, isn't it's, gold, it's, it's, it's cast resin. This is from the 60s, it's called the Biomorphic Console and Mirror. This is the original made for Mr. and Mrs. Charles Ducommon in Bel Air. He would have done this whole room himself? Exactly, and so the seashells, you know, are his thing. He used to say if there were only one abalone shell in the world that people would fight wars over it for its beauty. Really? So we called him Tony Abalone. That is a really remarkable chandelier. Well, it's, it's an original Tony Duquette chandelier, and the best thing about it, these things, as Tony would say, these are the jewels for the room. You've now taken over the estate, and well, you're now the principal designer? Yeah, well, I worked with Tony for 30 years, so I was always the designer mm -hmm. with Tony, and it's just a seamless transition. It's like, you know, Galliano for Dior, except that right. I actually knew the guy. You know, Tony would say, beauty, not luxury, is what I value. He didn't care if it was made of solid gold or if it was worth a million dollars. If it was beautiful, that's all that mattered. <laughs> so if I bought a house and I said to Tony or you, do it. Well, you what, look. I'll give you guidelines, obviously, how yeah, I'm going to live it. No, exactly. And not only that, but you, you know, you've got to have a budget and a time period, you know, and you do it. You do it on time and on budget. So this is... Well, this is a, a little Indian temple. I had three arches in my warehouse, and I discovered that they were carved on both sides. So I split them down the middle, and I got upstairs and downstairs, you see? All of my additions and all of my changes, I think, are done with sensitivity to Tony's aesthetic, you know, and, and his stuff. Five years before he died, Bergdorf Goodman invited us to make a collection of jewelry. We work with a collection of stones that Tony's been collecting since 1941. And, um, and they're all, you know, they're all exploding. They're all like fireworks and starbursts. This is the lion's share of what you're doing now, isn't it? Well, we always only ever did one house a year anyway. So jewelry I can do in my sleep. These are car carved rubies, carved sapphires, emeralds, diamonds, and pearls. Carved. Now, who would your customer be on something like this? Just Somebody a, rich. A well-heeled, is that right, really? It's hundred and something thousand dollars. This you will never see. It's one piece. Never, we never make two of anything ever. Here's a ring that, was, that started out as an antique Chinese jade ring of swimming fish, and I've got them now splashing through diamond, you know, water made of diamonds. His whole purpose in doing anything that he did was to inspire individuality and creativity in others. So. Let's hope that it does. Well, thank you. You've inspired individuality and creativity to be able to go home and I love start that. stapling things together and banging I, things together and see if I can create an empire. I think you're very individual. Well, I try. Yeah. Hot and Good. Great. Thank Thanks you so much. Come back anytime.